plenty of animals build their homes in oak trees. But it's another thing entirely to get the oak tree to do all the work, to build your house for you. Say you're an oak tree, just sitting there minding your own business, when suddenly this tiny wasp comes along. She says, hey, why don't you build me a nursery for these baby wasps I'm about to have? And then she injects her eggs under your skin. You find yourself creating an entirely new structure, one you would have never built for yourself. What nerve, you might say, what gall, and you'd be right. This thing, this parasitic wasp house, it's called a gall. There can be dozens of types of galls on a single tree, each one built to order for a specific species of wasp. They're called gall-inducing wasps, and each gall is weirder and more flamboyant than the next. Sometimes the wasps prefer a mobile home. This one is called a jumping gall. It falls from the tree and bounces across the ground like a Mexican jumping bean until it finds a safe place to hatch. As a protection against predators, galls can taste incredibly bitter. Bitter like the bile produced by a gall bladder. In fact, the earliest doctors believed being bitter and angry meant an excess of gall in the body. Anyway, back to our tree. Inside the gall, the larvae mature and develop, and as they grow, they release chemicals that tell the tree how to build the gall. The tree is tricked into funneling nutrients into the gall to feed the hungry wasp larvae. Scientists call this a physiologic sink. For the larvae, it's like living inside a giant banana, an endless supply of food. But the peace and quiet don't last long. All that free food starts attracting uninvited guests. That original wasp itself becomes a host for another set of wasps called parasitoids. One study in the UK found 17 different wasp species living in one gall. But the oak tree, it does just fine. In most cases, unharmed by the tiny rivalries in tiny houses on its branches and its leaves. <laughs>